Hey you and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for watching. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl, and this is the first episode of my new vlog series, Sustainable Aruba. So I don't know if you can tell, but I just came back from 10 days of beautiful Aruba, where I got to meet some incredible people, including the guy that I got to make this video with. So his name is Hiro from Let's Go With Hiro, and he, like me, has a passion for his home island. So he uses his vlogs to promote Promote the island of Aruba and all that you can do experience and where to go so he took out a day out of his busy schedule to spend it with moi to take me around and show me some of the most iconic spots in Aruba as well as some locally hidden gems and that is what we're sharing with you today hi my name is Jairo and I have a vlog on YouTube. It's called Let's Go with Jairo. Actually, I started mainly as travel vlogs. And in the meantime, since COVID and everything, I switched more to uh, vlogs uh, from Aruba. Well, I try as a local to bring vlogs that are maybe a little bit different to what you're used to seeing. I try to give you more of the local experience in it. And I also have several uh, walking videos that I started and in the meantime some biking videos and kayak videos so I mix them in a little bit so it's not just information but it's also people like them uh, to watch them for relaxing almost so for example this place is the uh, Fofoti trees at Eagle Beach these trees represent almost like the picture of Aruba almost they are on uh, several in several magazines and uh, calendars I've seen them even shopping in the US I see like oh this is Aruba so this is the place now these trees uh, they form like this they are semi mangrove they form like this and take the form of the wind the constant uh, breeze that we have in Aruba Uh, it was built I think in the 1990s or so they somebody built the steps so they carved the stones there originally it was three steps so tres trapi after probably a couple of years they realized that you know the three steps were still a little bit too low so they decided to put two more carve two more and that's why the, it's five but it's called still called tres trapi so the original name years ago it didn't even have a name because it's such a small beach but it's gotten really popular and as you guys have seen usually it's a local beach like locals come here especially during sunset but now it's gotten so popular and if you want to see the turtles here in Aruba this is probably one of the best not the only place but one of the best places you can catch them <music>
it is a functioning church. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't know if it, that's the case right now, but I used to be on Tuesday afternoons. So like late in the afternoon, I think at 5, 5.30, there is a mass and when it's busy inside, it's held outside so you can sit on the outside too. It is a Catholic chapel, but visited by uh, people of every faith because of the grounds uh, over here, it's considered like sacred grounds for the Aruban people. So guys, we are close to the high-rise hotels, which are among others, the DV and Rio and all of those hotels. And even though Aruba is considered a very dry island, doesn't rain too much, we still have like a nature reserve here where you can have all sorts of birds. So you could say it's a bird watcher's paradise, right? This is the place you would come. And there's also a tower where you, if you come with your zoom lens, for example, you can zoom and take photos from up there. We're gonna go up there next. And yeah, I love this place. I love interaction with the animals. That was it for the first episode of my new vlog series on Aruba. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and I hope you go and follow my friend Hyro. He's doing some amazing work over there. So keep on watching my channel for more on Aruba and the rest of the Caribbean. Thank you for watching. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl. See you next time.